Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly, and today we're going to do an art journal page with our Portfolio 24 Water Soluble Oil Pastels. And these are, you can use these wet or dry, and we're going to do a little mixture today, and I'm going to give you a few tips. Um, you guys really loved me showing these and wanted to see, you know, some pages and whatnot done, so here we go. Um, also, I want to say very quickly that, uh, you know, I love Blitzy, Blitzy.com. The link will be down below. Um, they have these on sale for $8 and they have the 12s. You can get 12 or 24. 24 pack is $8 and change. And I believe the 12 pack is $5 and change. Um, so I'm going to leave my link down below. Go check it out. The Blitzy has every art or craft you could possibly want. Um, they have mixed media, acrylic painting, watercolor. They have paintbrushes. They have sewing. They have fabric. They have, oh, geez, jewelry making. They have clay. They have stamps. They have die cutters. They have all kinds of stuff, everything you could possibly imagine. And I love them. So the link is down below. Check them out. Anyway, here we go. So I'm just going to use one side of the page, one side of the page. And what I did was I gessoed up here and down here I gessoed, but I threw on one of my favorite products, which is the Mod Podge Hard Coat. Now I've told you guys about this before. It is uh, obviously called Hard Coat. It's a water-based sealer, glue, and finish. And you can use this on, let me read the English part, use on wood, paper mache, glass, terracotta, non-toxic, quick build, hard finish for furniture, it's water resistant, do not shake, apply with a brush or sponge, and it says close container after each use, clean up while wet with soap and water. Um, let's see, you can clean the surface with a damp cloth once it's cured. La 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 la. So, that's what this is. But let me tell you, you can use your, uh, that's why I'm using gesso. So you could use your regular Mod Podge mat. You can use your Mod Podge gloss. Um, you can use a sealer or whatever. Uh, that's what I'm using today. But I have used these on regular paper and I will show you that as well. So let's get going. So I'm just going to open her up. those and we got these now I showed uh, before that you can use these uh, if you scribble different colors down a whole mess of colors and then you put the black over it you make you can make the scratch art it's called like graffito or something like that I'm not sure um, but it's really cool and it's fun to do with the kids and it's just fun to do in general so I'm just saying so what I want to do first is I'm going to do a background and I'm going to do my ever so lovely, uh, you know, I love hearts and that's what I'm doing. So it's probably going to be heart related, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this color, which is, dee, 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 it doesn't have a uh, cerulean. Okay. doesn't really matter, but it's a blue and I'm just going to lightly, I don't want to push too hard because I don't want it to have, um, marks in here. And I'm so sorry if you can hear my dogs walking around and just being anxiety ridden because um, Dave and Emily just left to go to the doctors for Emily. And I appreciate everybody asking about her. And I'll talk about that in a second. And my dogs are like, you know, because certain dogs hang with Dave, other ones hang with me. And they're just all like, what's going on? So I just have plain water. And I'm just going in. This is just one of my um like scrubby brushes that I use. <laughs> okay. Look how pretty that is. Now remember, these are water uh, soluble, which means that the more you lay on top, the more they're going to blend and reactivate. Okay. But I want you to see, I hope you can see. Yeah. You can see this is where I have the Mod Podge hard coat. This is where I have the gesso. So you see that this is a little, you know, it comes up a little lighter. I'm going to dry it real quick. Now, listen, I know this is a big, big problem on my channel. But people yell at me and say, you can't use white acrylic paint for gesso. Yes, you can. It's it, There's no difference of doing that or putting, um, just not putting gesso. So if you don't have gesso, 
and you want to try any water soluble uh, product that you have. Mind you, this is oil, but let me just dry this another minute. This is oil, but of course you can use your Neo colors. You can use your gelatos. It doesn't matter. They all kind of go in the same uh, vein. And um, you can also take, I have videos where I've made acrylic paint into faux watercolor look. And you definitely can do that as well or use your watercolors. It doesn't matter. It's about having fun and playing around. And if you don't have gesso and you don't have Mod Podge and you want to do something like this and you have a water soluble uh, product, by all means, paint it white, paint it black, paint it green. I don't care. Just have fun. Okay. All right. So that, that's my rant. Um, you can see, and now it's dry and it doesn't move obviously um, too much when I'm using it, but you can hear gesso and that's the, the um, slick. It's much slicker. It doesn't matter. But so you can see, I have that. Now maybe I want to build up a bit down here. So let's see what I'll have. Oh Jesus, Kelly, not black, but look, I'm scrubbing it off. <laughs> I don't know what color I used. What color was it? Why would I put it away? Because my name is Kelly. Okay, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> so much going on in my life. It's driving me crazy. Okay, we're going to go up here, too. So. Let's do it. Now, let me show you. You can definitely, these are, again, you can use your finger or water. I'm just showing you. And you want to warm the product up a bit with your finger. So don't get discouraged and think, Oh no, this, you know what I mean? Let me put my brush down so it's out of the way. You want to warm it up a minute, just with your finger. As if you're putting, you know, like foundation on your face or makeup or I don't know. And you want to just warm it up. And you can see it blends as it's warmed up with my finger. Okay? And you can warm, you can do the same thing up here. You just warm it up. And that's the gesso part. And it's, I mean, it's not that bad, right? But I'm going to take my brush up here since this is coming up a little darker. And I'm just going to give it another little bloop. Just because it's going to be, you know, that's a little different. And you can continue building up and you can add different colors as well and blend. For instance, if I want to do, I don't know. A little green down here. I can take a little yellow. You can already see it happening. A little yellow. And this is just called yellow. <laughs> and you just kind of mix it up. Now that was a little wet still on top because I just put the water. So of course it's going to move around. And there we go. But you can see how it definitely turns a shade of green. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to dry this one more time. Just the top. Now, obviously, I'm, uh, if I do this heat down here and I just blended it with my finger with no water, but I put my heat gun on it, it is going to melt it a little bit. So you see, look at the smoothness. Can you see the difference, how it kind of smooths it out a little bit with that heat? You want to be careful. You don't want to burn it or anything like that. But it definitely, you know, it's, it's a way to use it. Because I know a lot of us who have hand issues, whether it's uh, chronic illness or what have you, um, you know, you know, you see what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this color, which is, what is it? Rust? Okay, it's rust. And I'm just going to go in. Because I want these to blend, so again, it's just, I'm just playing. I will say I do like the these more on the gesso than the hard coat, the slick surface. So acrylic paint would be just as good. And as you can see, the slick surface kind of um, erases off a little easier, right? So I don't want to, you don't want to push as hard if that's what you do. But definitely do it to your... You know, if you really have hand issues and you want to use these, then definitely um, go for it. 
but you can see how it definitely wipes off a little bit and just make it work to your advantage. It's not the biggest deal. I'm going to take some orange. I'm just kind of laying in some color here. What word am I going to write? I wonder. I wonder if you've been with, oh, you can hear my dog gag and that's, that's, that's good YouTube content. I can't help it. These dogs, oh, they're old. They're rescues. I love each and every one of them, but they all have their own little things that just make you go, things that make you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. You, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Now I think I'm going to take a dark, this is slate gray. Um, I'm just going to go, let's see, I'm just going to do it a little bit. This might be too, too light for what I want. I just want, I want that shadow, but I'm wondering if black would be too much. I don't know. Let me look at this for a minute and then we will see. And you can see I'm doing a very simple page. I'm not doing like nothing major because you don't have to all the time. You know, I mean, it's just about playing, especially when you go, you know, let me tell you, one of my favorite things to do is go to the arts and crafts store, Michael's, Joanne, DC Moore, Hobby Lobby, and they all have that delicious clearance section. And let me tell you something, that's where I go and I find products that, they might be on, you know, clearance for whether it be color or what have you, but I like to get them when they're at a really good price because that's when I can bring them home and play. And like I said, as far as these, so many of you had an interest in these. And like I said, Blitzy has them and you can do pictures. Um, Susan did a beautiful uh, picture with these and she's like a pro with these already. I keep telling her to do videos. Um, me, I'm just, I just like to play. I like to do simple things that I feel like I'm doing something and, you, you know, playing with the product, but she did, uh, she did such a beautiful, I, I don't know if I can convince her to do, do a video. I hope so. But, uh, yeah, so, and this is probably pink. Yeah. I'm just going to scribble this in. And like I said, very light. But of course you could do faces because they do have uh, a peach color. And I mean, you really, you know, you can mix and match these in um, kind of like, you know, I, I want to say when, if you're using paint, you know how you can mix into different colors. And of course, then y'all know Roy G. Biv, black, white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, white. I know y'all been missing me saying that. Um, do you know what I'm saying? And you take those colors, you can mix into every color. So you don't always have to go for that, you know, big major, you know, spend purchase. Yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I like, I like this. I like this. Now you can see the difference in the colors. Um, this is much, a little bit darker. And at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal if you, cause it comes with white, these ones, if you put a little like loop in there and sniff because my nose is running and then you just kind of scribble these in a little bit you can see how it lightens it i i i just dig i i see now i like the way the bottom with that uh clear coat is much you really can play You see how it gets that kind of, let me lift it up. Oh, it's like a watercolor color. Oh, that's everything. And if you play up here, I'm sure. Yeah. See the more it warms up with your finger. Now, the reason I'm not using water on this middle part is because I don't want it to really uh, thin out as much as, you know, as the watercolor would. But you definitely can. I'm going to pull some of this down here. Oh, I just love, I love Okay. All right. I got to stop, but I'm going to tell you, I'm not digging that. I'm not digging it. I'm going in with some, not gray again. You ain't going to fool me. I need another blue. I need another blue. No, not you, Cerulean. Red violet, maybe. Ooh, red violet or blue. 
Let's do red violets. Let's do here. Oh yeah. Okay. Gosh, I gotta do a vlog soon. All you beautiful people writing me and, and different issues and I just gotta think, I gotta figure out, cause there's a couple things and I gotta figure out a way to say the things that I'll have to say without getting everybody mad or thinking it's about them or whatever. But I know a lot of you are writing me con with concerns about things. And if you've written me, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just trying to figure out a way to, if I should talk about it or not. Cause like I said, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. So I'm not digging that inside, although it's almost like a, like, oh, like a sacred heart kind of vibe, but that's not what I'm going for. Um, um, how am I going to get that orange out of there? I think I'm just going in with some more of the rust. Let's see what that does. If that kind of darkens it enough that it's so much fun. No, not fun. Not fun. That was not a fun one. This is called red. <laughs> so clever. I just love you guys so much. Please don't. I, I got some giveaways coming up, so... Don't, uh, don't miss out. So if you're not already, subscribe so you could be notified of videos. Um, sometimes I do regular giveaways where I'll say, this is a giveaway video. And other times, okay, I'm not digging that up here, this purple. I am digging it down here, though, a little bit. I'm going to put some red here. Um, and sometimes I just do it all of a sudden in a video. So it depends. I like doing smaller giveaways because I can give to more people. Um, which is what I love to do. You know, I mean, a lot of you say that you like it if you win a stencil or, you know, something like that more than just doing a big one. But, you know, I like doing them all. So when I'm able to do a bigger one, I like doing that. I'm going to put some white here just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And I'm not going to wipe my finger off. So if it's You know, so I just love you guys. You guys, the you guys who leave the comments all the time, and I'm trying to get caught up on comments. Um, you know, your comments and your emails and your letters and your Facebook messages are just, I just, I'm very blessed. Okay, so you can see, you can definitely do this both ways. I'm not going to play too much more because I do dig this middle. Like I will probably take a uh, scan <laughs> or a picture because uh, like I love the blend. I don't know. It looks very grungy to me down here. Uh, up here, not so much, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I still want some more white in here, but I might have to add some water to that to kind of, you know, if it won't lighten. Yeah, that's a little better. And don't forget, you can definitely add water. Now what I think I'm going to do, like I said, very simple. And I do enjoy, you know, doing hearts. I'm just one of them people. And I think for everybody, um, and I might be wrong. <laughs> I'm sure you'll let me know. Um, but for me, um, how did that purple get there? I don't even know. Um, for me, when I watch people do things that I can't do, like I am not a watercolor artist. I really try. I really, really try, but I'm not. Um, and believe me, I've tried, but I use it in my mixed media. I'm throwing some white on these up here because these are okay. You know, I love watching when people do tutorials that are easy that I look at and think, okay, I can do that. 
Um, and there's a lot of people who do wonderful tutorials on YouTube. You know, and you always find the ones that you can relate to or you can follow and, you know, all that kind of jazz. So I love watching that. So I do hearts because I think that we can all do hearts. And, um, you know, so if you watch this and you're like, you know, I want to try these or I want to try paints or whatever you're going to try, you know, a heart is kind of an easy thing to do. If you want to do it with the kids or the grandkids, I try to be, you know. I know I was asked to do uh, a face with these. I will do my best on a video at some point. Sometimes my brain does not commute. Compute, compute, Kel. That's the whole problem there is the commuting. <laughs> uh, okay. I just want to put a little, a little, I don't know. Maybe I should put some here too, just to kind of do it. Let's do it. And I'm not digging that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in the water. I'm going to dab it off. We'll dab for Angie. And I'm going in and I'm going to see if I can erase, like how much I can erase in this because I'm just not digging it. I'm not going to lie. But you can see I am, and you know, I'm all about the erasing the acrylic paint. I mean, there's no wrong. And what I'm doing is I'm cleaning my brush and then going back in with more water, doing a dab. I wish in New Jersey. Okay. And then I'm going to take, ugh, then I'm going to take um, a piece of paper towel or whatever. And I'm going to go in and dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. And you can see how I lifted a lot of that darkness up. Apparently not a lot, not enough, because I just don't like this. I want that deep in there. Nice cleavage. Yeah. Okay. All right. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm getting at? You feel what I'm putting down? Okay. You're picking up what I'm putting down. All right. Now, good God, why did I turn the video on today. I'm going to take Cerulean again. Look how dark that looks and look how light it is. Ugh. Deliciousness, of course, but I'm going in. But before I blend it, I'm going to add a little bit of white. Okay. Now I'm going in. I'm just going to lighten that up a little bit. I just didn't dig exactly what was going on there. My daughter has me listening to Lana Del Rey. Like my daughter listens to her constantly and has. And so for me just listening or getting in the car with Emily or whatever, um, she just has me listening to her. So all these songs are going through my head and I love her. And look, I'm not going to lie. Anybody who knows me or has been following me, I, I'm somebody, I, I'm a heavy metal girl. Love me the heavy metal. Doesn't matter what kind, but I am also the morbid slash depressing slash I'm in a bad mood. I'm going to listen to some more depressing music kind of girl. There's some of us out there. I don't know. Let me know down below. Are you one of them kind of girls or people, not even a girl people, or are you somebody who constantly, because Emily's boyfriend listens to, he'll always say to her, like, how do you listen to this? Like listen to upbeat, happy music. And me and Emily are like, oh, you know, listening to that kind of stuff. So yes, I just wonder what kind of music you listen to. Anyway, she has me into that. But my daughter, you guys, thank you so much for uh, messaging me and leaving comments about Emily. She is at the doctor right now. And I was hoping um, to be able to give you an update, but I'll probably give you an update in a video t later on today or tomorrow. Um, we're waiting to see because she has been having a really, really rough time and we just don't know why. And like being able to, like not being able to move, um, just really high fevers. She's been to urgent care. Nobody knows what's going on. So I'm hoping that we find out soon because she is just not, she's just not herself and she's not doing good. And she has videos that she wants to put up and you know, all kinds of stuff. And it's just, it's been a little uh, rough, a little rough. I'm going to take a little black. Let's just see just the littlest bit right there and see if I can Maybe blend that out enough. Mm. 
And like I said, more than anything, I want to show you guys the colors and different ways to really use them. Now, I also know, and I've also done this in previous videos with this, and I'm going to show you on the other page just real quick. This is the one I did yesterday that wasn't all the way dry when I shut it. Okay. This is just regular paper, and then I have more of the hard coat down here. But what I want to show you is, um, all right, let me show you the red on here. This is the rust color, but you can definitely see it, uh, the color a little bit better. So if I go in with my fingers, this is just regular, this is a moleskin, but of course, you know, whatever paper you have. The only issue I ever see with this is sometimes it will, because of the oil, it'll sink into a page before you get it rubbed out. So like you can see sometimes where you scribble, depends on how big of a deal it is to you. But I mean, you can see it's, it's scribbling out. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of water. And you can see it doesn't move as much as, you know, when it's on gesso or what have you, okay? And you got to watch because, no, I'm scrubbing it. I'm moving it with my finger and it's not moving it because it's sunk into the page. Now, this is a really cool thing. If you take a little bit of, where are you? <sighs> Come here. I'm going to take some Mod Podge mat. And I have videos doing this as well. I'm going to try to hook you up at the end with more videos using these in different ways. I do this with gelatos. I do this with um, what, what uh, neo colors, whatever you have. But you can blend out. Let's see this pretty pink color. I'm just going to do this and take my little brush with some of this and use it as your water. And what happens is, as it dries, it becomes permanent. But you see, see how I scribbled that in there and you can still see it, which is fine. I also will take it on your nonstick mat or whatever, you know, wax paper. Remember, you don't have to always have the nonstick mat. And take a little bit of this mat, Mod Podge mat, go in, get your brush loaded up. And then you paint. And then, and I'll show you on the other pages as well. Like I said, I wanted to show you on non gesso, non anything. This is the hard coat, so I'm going to take some of it. And you can see it's definitely lighter, but you can work. It's very pastel. So that, you know, if that's kind of what you're looking for, then by all means, please do so. Let me do a little darker of a color though. Uh, let's use some of this rust color since that's, okay. Now let's go back to this glue and activate it. Now remember the glue dries clear. Okay. So if we're back on here and I'm going in with this, I can go in and you can just activate with your glue. Too. You don't have to, the heck is that piece come from? And then you're making it permanent. Did you see how I'm lifting that color up? You don't want to scrub too hard. I'm going to add another color. That's why I'm kind of taking that off here. Okay. Let my brush, I want my brush fairly dry with this, with the Mod Podge. And I think I'm going to go in with, um, how do I have two red violets? That's my question. What color? What color? What color, Cal? What color are you? Let's just go straight blue. So I'm going to very lightly throw this blue on here. And go in and activate it. Now you can use your finger as well. 
Come on, baby. Might be better if we do it on here. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yep. And you can see. It's going to lay that down, let it dry, and then you can go over it or what have you. I don't want too much water. I don't like the uh, transparency of these when they get wet. I just don't. I like the brighter. As you can see. Now watch. Let me dry it. Can you see the sheen that just came over it because of the oil? So you just want that to dry. Well, that's doing that. I'm going to add more. Let's do some black. And you see how it goes over it and it just makes it much more uh, transparent. So now let me use some of the blue. These are so much fun to play with. I, I like I said, I, I'm going on. I probably should have turned my camera off 20 minutes ago. I'm sure somebody will let me know that fact. But I love playing. I love showing you guys, and I love showing you different ways. And you know, so I'm I'm done playing. I'm done playing. And then you could just wipe everything off. Doesn't bother. And like I said. You can make it permanent. Not a big deal. Just playing. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys do. Like I said, I just wanted to play. And this is a stamps that I made the other day with foam to show you guys how to get um, backgrounds on your ATCs or your art journal pages when you are, you know, kind of nervous of the blank page. So I will link that video at the end as well if you want to see it. And yeah, so it's just fun playing with these. And that's what I love doing, like I said. And I love, you know, you want to blend this a little bit. Now remember, this is going to be permanent once it's dry. So you're not going to be able to blend. You can blend on top, definitely. But you're not going to be able to necessarily move that product anymore. But, you know, it's just about having fun, using mixed media, using your acrylic paint, using water, using Mod Podge, you know, that kind of thing. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to take some of my matte Mod Podge and I'm going to go over and I find if I go very quickly one time and you can see over the bottom part, it's uh, how you say, uh, what's that called? Beating up because it's, you know, that's a hard coat. It's clear. But you don't want to rub it too hard. You just kind of want to throw this down. And that will also seal it. I always do this. Um, and it will also seal it for you. But you don't want to go back and forth like this because then it will, of course, um, move your product. But you can see it did it here. And now this will be sealed so I can paint on top of it if I want or whatever I want. And I'm not going to spend the 20 minutes to dry that, but I think you get the gist. So, like I said, I'm going to link more videos, and if you are interested in these, go check out Blitzy. You can also check out uh, your local Staples because they have them there. I think they only have 12-pack, but uh, you can check out there uh, or Amazon or wherever. You, you know, you don't have to go to Blitzy, but like I said, they have the 24-pack on sale for 8 bucks, and Blitzy is... I love Blitzy. I love it. So check out the link down below. And if you are not, please subscribe to me. Hit that button, that that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload, which is five to six times a week. And I just love you guys so very much. Keep the comments coming. Keep the uh, messages and the emails and all the love to keep coming to me and my family because we really need it and we really appreciate it. And you guys are the best. I can't even ask for a better online family. You all just rock. Thank you each and every one of you. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. 
progress, not perfection. Again, I wanted to show you what these did and you know, I got to do it in a heart just to show you that I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Keep your eyes off for giveaways. Love you.